Hello. So today we're going to talk about 404 errors in WordPress and how to solve them. Um, basically, the way I like to resolve my 404 errors is, number one, I use a tool such as Google Search Console, formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools, or Moz to generate a list of 404s that are occurring on my website. And then I use that tool to export a CSV file I modify it to fit the format of an SEO redirection plugin that I like to use, and then I just upload it into the plugin. And it makes taking large lists of 404s and uh, redirecting them back to your homepage or back to the appropriate page on your website, it makes it really, really easy. So basically, let's just go ahead and do that. I'll show you how it's done. Um, I am in Google Search Console for a website that I own called rccreativellc.com. And what I go ahead and do is I go down here to crawl errors and it shows me my URL errors, my 404 errors right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click download and keep it in CSV. Apparently you can also, I don't know why they give me the Google Docs option there, but then there's like, it's disabled. So anyway, we'll download it in CSV. And you can see it downloaded in CSV and my computer is going to want to automatically open that in Excel, which is just fine by me. So what we want to do is take this CSV file, put it over on the right screen, and you can see we've got a column for the URL, we've got a column for 404 errors, some other information here. Now, this isn't going to do us much good. We've got the URL of the uh, 404 error, but we don't have a column for where it needs to redirect to. So what we want to go ahead and do is figure out what the format is for our redirect plugin. So I'm going to go over here to the WordPress dashboard for this site, and I'm using SEO Redirection Premium. This plugin costs a couple of bucks, but it's worth its weight in gold. It really is wonderful. Um, so I'm going to go over here to Export Import, and under the export input tab, import tab, down here at the bottom, there's a help link. And that help link gives us the, uh, the plugin manufacturer's blog. And on their blog, there are export redirects, import redirects. So we'll click imports. And down here, it gives us the input format. We are required to have a redirect underscore from a redirect underscore to, and a redirect type, which specifies the HTTP code for the redirect, 301, 302, 307, yada, yada, yada. So basically, we gotta go back here to our Excel file. The URL field will change that to redirect from. We are going to go ahead and get rid of the rest of this. And we'll make that redirect to, which is going to be the URL that we want to redirect to. And then we want to have redirect underscore type, which is going to be 301 for everything, okay? So we'll just go ahead and do one and then copy and paste it down. Now, the redirect front column, basically neither one of these columns should actually have the domain scheme or the domain name. So we need to get rid of the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash domain. So what we'll do is we'll just copy that out from one. We will do a find and replace. We will find the domain and we will replace it with nothing. And there we go. Now we've got the right format for that column. Now for the redirect to column, we just want to give it the relative URL uh, that we're going to be forwarding to or redirecting to. And for all of these, I don't have another page on my website that is more appropriate, but if you did, you would put that page's URL in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in the URL of the homepage for all of them, okay? So copy and paste that down. And now I will go ahead and save this file as CSV. And now finally, now that I've got my CSV file, I can go over here to the SEO redirection pl premium plugin. I'll go down here to import, choose file, go back here to where I save the file, 
select it. I want to skip the first row of the file because it has table headers and anything else here. Skip existing redirects of same source. Yep, we'll do the import. And five were imported, five new redirects created, zero skips. So now they're all in there. And I can test this by taking one of these URLs and going to it. And if everything worked correctly, it should redirect back to my homepage. Sure enough. All right. Okay, so that's the easiest way I can tell you how to import a 301 list into WordPress. It makes uh, fixing your crawl errors very easy. So I really, I really recommend you get this plugin. Um, I think I paid like 20 or 30 bucks for it, and it's really been worth every penny. I, I use it on a lot of websites that I manage, and it's just... Once again, worth its weight in gold. So, all right, we'll stick around. I'm sure I'll have more videos on similar topics. Um, I do a lot of stuff with WordPress, so if you're into WordPress, I, uh, I got a lot to show you in the future. All right, I'll catch you later.